Hi. And I just wanted to start by saying thank you so much for the wonderful support that you've all given me in this page. It's really like very impressive to me because I'm just a regular average schmo and you know that has had experiences and I started this page because something bad happened to me and you know I've started a couple pages so some of them didn't do so well so I kind of came into this thinking that was gonna happen again and you know but it's nice to see that people understand about the seriousness of stalking and in a way it's not good because I'm sad that all of you have to understand that you know and know what it feels like to not be safe and that's why I realize anonymity is very important to a lot of us um I've come a long way and I I've always been open my whole life mm -hmm. um my all my experiences you know was always out there on display so I don't mind sharing but there will, might come a time when I I am also afraid for my life I don't know how much my stalker is willing to do and he's at times escalated um our accounts have been broken into in our own privacy and you know when that starts happening you start you start really getting very panicky, a lot of anxiety, and you don't know if you're going to wake up the next day and even have money in your bank account or if something's going to happen to your vehicle or whatever, you know, because that's the kind of things that people like them will do, especially if they are getting upset and possessive and they will ruin your accounts, your online social media things. Um, I've had him imitate me and make personal actual YouTube channels. It's, it's been really, really trying at times. And it all started from one thing he did that I didn't do because I'm an open type. He went and had a personal protection order put against my husband and I, and meaning that we can no longer have the same rights as some people have. And if he was anywhere, we couldn't be around him. So he actually moved to our city as well, making it very much more difficult. And, you know, the judge still did not believe us. He believed him. And therefore, he got that power trip. And I think that's where it started. I mean, it's not where the stalking started. He stalked me before that. I just was not aware. Because if they're really good and they're serious stalkers and they're good on social media and they're good at the internet, they know computer code, you know, <laughs> and they know how to get in the dark web, you are going to have a very difficult time. And we did. And I don't know how much he's able to do. I still don't know his computer, total computer skills, but I do know he has a master's in computer code and other programs. So, you know, he's really like up there. I would never know what kind of things to do on a computer to get into it with just code. That That's so beyond me. Like, I wouldn't even know where to start. And that's stuff that it's taken him years to learn. But he's really, really good at hacking and getting into personal places that he doesn't need to be. And I know that he's monitored our cell phone at times and that's how he was able to get into the account and my husband's um, VA account. And that was, well, he was the only one that would have known how to do that in our actual life. And he was only, the only person attacked was my husband. So. The um, VA people said if that happens, then generally it's something personal. Um, I've had my email hacked mo so many times, so many times. I'm on um, I'm on a program that alerts me every time there's a breach in the system, and I've gotten it like at least more than likely at least above ten times. It's been breached, and it's it's just it's ridiculous, you know. 
it gets to that point where you you wonder who's really speaking to you on the internet, you know. You wonder who is behind that username. And, you know, anonymity is something that I take serious because that's how they got to, to whoever we are. That's how my stalker got to me. And more than likely, that's how they're getting into your stuff as well. They will pretend like there's somebody that you don't know, but you know, the problem with a lot of these types of people is that they don't understand. They put themselves into whoever character they're trying to create and, you know, they always, you'll always give away those telltale signs that it's you and Mine's done that multiple times. I started catching on to who it might be. But I mean, he's really good at being creative and coming up with new things to mess with me. And it just will go on and on. There's never a sure way you're going to know who is behind the computer screen. And that's maybe where the problem lies. You know, I, I almost think if there was a program where everybody had to tell who they were, to get on, I wouldn't care that my my privacy is given out there because quite honestly, I would rather know who's behind the computer and a different on the other person's end as well than, you know, leave it up to chance. And these hackers are always going to do that. So it's already, they're already going to just get away with it. So if we had a program set into place to protect the innocent people too, I mean, granted, yeah, there will always be people who can outdo the, the system that you put into place and turn it into something bad. I do agree with that, but I would take the chance. You know, I would take the risk if they had to. Basically, every computer that they had, they would have to prove who they were. And... I think that would be the only sure way. And then their computer would be monitored. And in order to get into the, into the internet and everything, you had to show your ID. I think that would be a great setup to like bring into motion to stop people from being able to say they're not, they're this person when they're not. You know, it might, it might seem like it's taking away privacy, but in the end, the hacker already took away your privacy. They already know who the, who you are. They go on the deep web, the dark web, and they can know anything about where you live, who you associate with. He's actually friended people somehow that I knew and gotten associations with them. I've lost friends because I'll tell them about what's going on and, you know, they act like he's just this decent guy. To, to them, you know, and I, I lost a lot of people from when I went to school. And he's just, he's alienated me from a lot of people in my life. And it feels like you lose a part of yourself. It feels like that part of you that you thought everybody cared, you know, they didn't. They didn't care at all. And in the end, they chose to believe him. And that's why I, I felt so alone at one point and so low. I couldn't tell anybody about the situation because he we were still on the personal protection order. I'm not even, I wasn't even allowed to talk about him. And any time that I said anything or talked about him, um, even hinting at it, I didn't even have to say his name because I don't don't even believe I ever did. But I mean I hinted it. I was upset. I just learned that he's gonna, that I can't ever say anything, you know? And that's when the police approached me and said, you know, you can't even talk about him at all. Like, and he was on my stuff, but you know, not as himself, because that's when I realized just how devious he was and how deceptive he would go behind my back and be on my stuff and not I wouldn't even know 
Like, how would he have known all of that in two seconds, you know? He acted like a friend of his told him that I was saying things. I had my stuff, I put started putting my stuff on private because my actual accounts, because I was so, like, I didn't like the fact that he was there watching my accounts. And, you know, for someone to do that, to say that you are stalking them, and then they are the ones behind the computer screen, sitting there watching whatever you say. And within a certain amount of time, realizing that I had, I had um, because he actually made a fake account on YouTube for himself. And he was talking to me on YouTube for a long time, for at least, you know, a couple months. He was trying to meet up with me. And um, that's when I realized, I was like, okay, so this is you. And... There was two incidences that make me wonder about that whole situation, really. There's one incident where, basically, I believe the first time was was with the, the police officer. Because when I got the, um, the exact day I got the PPO, we got the paperwork, we were served a personal protection order by a police officer, um... We were told that, and I was like, I was trying to explain to the police all of our situation and what we believe is going on. And he was, I was like, and do you realize, officer, that he moved into our city only a certain amount of months before he actually um, served us with PPO? And the officer was like, well, he's allowed to live wherever he wants. And I was like, why would he have moved right by us if he was so scared that he had to put a PPO on us? You know, that was one of my thoughts. And then I basically was like, whatever, fine, believe him. And then um, and then at the end, of, and before me and Isaac went, we were going to go over to look for an um, attorney because I was so distraught. I could not stand, stay in here. I had to do something about it. I was, I'm that type. If I have anxiety, like, it makes me want to do something about the situation. And I was, you know, totally out of control, off my, out of my hands, you know. So we were, we went over there. And in the meantime, I was like, fine, bye. And I waved at his character on YouTube. And by the time we got home from where we were going, which was maybe a couple hours, if that, you know, he had already called the cops and told them that I was breaking the PPO. And I was like, oh my gosh, the police officer's back. And he was like, yeah, do you know why I'm here? And I was like, um, no. And he was like, well, you're not even supposed to talk to the person that served you. And I was like, okay. Um, it was, it took me off guard. I didn't even know I wasn't even supposed to like, well, I knew I wasn't supposed to talk to him, but all I did was wave by to his odd little character, his avatar, as I like to call him now, because, you know, they're not really their people. They're just avatars. And I was like, okay, whatever. And that's when I realized it was him for real. You know, 100%. There's no questions about it. There's no way that he would have gotten it that quick. There's two possibilities. A, he's stalking my YouTube channel like verbatim every two seconds. And that's how he realized I even waved goodbye to a fake him or whatever. And B, which I believe is the real thing, is that was him. You know, that was, it was obvious to us. And I told this to the judge, you know, and the judge is like, well, how do you know that's him? And I was like, um, because he basically waved goodbye. I waved goodbye to him and he got us in trouble. Like he was trying to get us, me put in jail or something for breaking the personal protection order. That is the whole freaking point. And if that is him, your honor, then you know what? There shouldn't even be a PPO in place because he's not doing it for any right reason. He's doing it for control. And he even told me on my YouTube channel you that he controls. And, and he hasn't, firearms. he, he, he act, him and his wife acted like my husband were basically, my husband had 
firearms that he was brandishing. Yeah, I'm like, okay, where sure. where is the pictures? Because I'd like to see him. I haven't yet to see him. You know, I know that he's willing to make things up. So maybe he forged some and he made it look like it, it was Isaac really holding them. I don't know. But I do know he's able to do that. And I know that he did it on my um old channel. He was he's make he made up two fake um sexy kitten nineteen eighty two and an Isaac hunt because Isaac's not on YouTube. So I was like, you know, I even tried to show all of that evidence to the judge and we brought a few of the the paperwork back when we had actually printed it before it got that channel got shut down and it actually it showed him talking to me and corresponding with me and he was not scared he was like flirting like heck and he you know he was trying to get certain pictures of me still so you know if that was him then obviously he is seriously obsessed and goes to the point of doing something like that just to get control over my stuff and once he got control and the judge said he was in the right that's when all hell broke lo loose people that was when everything went down my channels left and right were kept getting hacked and then once he's able to hack it that's when he's able to get it taken down from youtube nowadays mostly mm -hmm. all i get is um age restricted my videos get a lot of them get age restricted which I don't care you know at least they're still there and I have not opened a single thing from anybody I don't I don't even care if I know the person I don't open things not ever again not any not anything um I am that trippy so if you ever send me anything and it has a link don't be upset or offended if I just go to the page myself because I will I, I just, I can't trust anybody at this point on actual line. Like, if I haven't seen the person do it themselves. Because he's gotten me that way. And that's what they do. That's their favorite tool to get inside your head. And that's what he's done to me. I've had so many sleepless nights, so many angry, angry fits and, you know crying up and down and always nervous about who's around us I, I don't care anymore I don't care if I even seem paranoid to people I just it's been so so much and people would not even leave half of what I say I know it's hard long far-fetched ideas for some of the thoughts I have but I do believe a lot of them are legit and sadly, I think they're all actual really happened, you know, the way that I feel they did. It's it's weird how you can just kind of have that feeling of who somebody is. And I've always had that ability to just pick up on someone's aura, their vibe, who they are, like, without even looking at them. Just feeling who they are when they talk to you or when they're around you. Everybody has their own unique one. And... That's what I feel every time that certain people talk to me. And, you know, a couple of them, he's gotten upset. Most of the time, whenever I would catch on and I would bring him out, he would just start blocking me with his different people. And I was like, okay, that was him. I was right on the, I hit the nail on the head. And that's when I realized who all he was. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's been so many people that I didn't even realize back then. Because I was like most people. You don't assume everybody in the internet is this one person. And that's how they get you too. They make you think that it's all people. That they're all real. And they're not. You know, so it, it messes with your head. And, you know, they do that on purpose. And it's like, in the end, you were not even talking to somebody else. You were talking to the same person over and over different times and different situations. And he used to not be so detailed and descriptive, but he's gotten more and more advanced to be able to manipulate and make me be fooled longer. It takes me a lot longer these days because he's learned what, you know, buttons to push on me in order to get me upset. 
And I don't know if that was even his purpose. Maybe he doesn't want to make me upset. He just wants certain things. And he knows that when he starts asking me for a lot of certain things, I'm going to get upset because I don't like always getting, giving out those type of things. And I noticed that's when it started too. You know, it did start with my naughty things. It started with my pictures and my videos. The pictures, not so much because he didn't care as much. I think the videos was when he was, he had power over us because YouTube does have certain standards and especially the ones I was putting out there. So I decided to open up a, a different website and I put them there. He's sometimes wanted me to put them on different naughty websites, but I think because he hacks that stuff better. I think the one I'm on now, he's not able to hack as easily. So he gets upset, but he'll just have to live with it because, you know, most of them I'm putting out there for free anyway, so he doesn't really have to be upset. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on and share, you know, update. Um, there's some people I have feelings about, but I'm not 100%. So, you know, I'm not going to say everybody that I feel he is, but I do have my thoughts and my feelings about those people. You know, um, he likes to have me go out some odd area and just do something or be there. And like he's watching me and it's really freaking weird when they do that and then later on they're like oh I wasn't able to get there and you're like yeah right I really believe that about you and he does things when he knows that I'm into certain things such as acting I'm an actress I love acting and I love putting myself out there and he has developed a couple of actor characters as well that I believe he's made and um I'm just hopeful that he doesn't follow us over to New York. Eventually we will be moving and it's getting closer to that time every day. I'm so excited. Like that's going to be a change, change of scenery, change of, you know, our way of life. And I'm really, oh, I'm really like excited to get away from this whole area and finally start my life, you know, the way I'm supposed to be. And that's why I've been sometimes, you know, MIA because, yeah, I'm bettering my career as well and my way of life. And I think that's the best thing you can do. If you're being stalked, just know that whoever's stalking you is just jealous of you or something about your life or you because that's what they want. They want to be you. And I think that's the main thing about stalkers is they are that obsessed about your you and your life. So just keep living you, keep being you. And you'll realize that, you know, eventually they won't have control over you or your mind. And that's the best revenge you can get on them is to stay happy in your own self and feel loved in who you are and know that you're not alone that a lot of us have that issue and that, you know, this is our journey and our, our cross to bear. And, you know, you'll, you'll be better than them because you are actually living your life, doing nothing wrong. And it's them that's hurting you and bringing you down. And even if the justice system fails you, just know that we are here for you. And hopefully in time, the justice system will get better. I know they have a lot to work on, you know. They they really don't do it fairly, especially for those of us that are minorities. I do believe that we get screwed over a lot. And sadly, I think that's all it was. And the fact that he was the first one to do it, and I think the judge was just very lazy. And didn't really even care to listen to what we were saying, didn't care to try to make sense, gave him way too many leeways and excuses. And that's not right. It's not just. And that's how it is for us. But I hope that you all stay inspired and know that you're beautiful inside and out. And know that I will never 
turn close this page that's just here for us and our little journeys and I think that's really the best thing that could happen and come out of something so bad he can bring me down all he wants but he won't he'll never bring me down to his level I'll always rise above and I'll always be the better person because I actually am trying to do something for right and he has abilities in himself he has, a, he has so much more opportunity than us. And that's just on him that he hasn't gotten there where he wants to be. It's not anything that me or my husband's done to him. And hopefully someday he realizes that and just leaves us alone. Because it's really, it's been really an ordeal. And all we want to do is live our life too in peace. So I'll let you go. But know that I'm here. I might be gone at times. You know, I'm going to be doing a demo reel coming up in New York. So I'm so excited for that. And then the opportunities will really come along. And I'll be moving and then I'll be gone for that. But then I'll be back. But I probably won't show as much like out and about because especially for a while, I don't want him, if he does end up in New York, I don't want him knowing where we're at. So I won't be showing as much outside wherever we're at because I don't want him figuring out where we're living like he did with this place. So I hope that you're safe and, you know, always know that there is people out there and I'll put a, a suicide hotline number under here under this video for anyone who needs somebody to talk to. Don't ever think that your life isn't worth fighting for because you are worthy and you're beautiful whether you know it or not. And I love that you're on my page. So stay you and do you girl and boy.